Hello everyone! Welcome to another episode of Roblox Game Development. Today we're going to make something to kill our zombie with. And by kill our zombie I mean we're going to make a ray casting gun. Or at least begin one. Okay? So let's start out and we're just going to use our light. So go ahead, go out to the explorer, go to starter pack, go to light, go to uh, uh where do we store those variables? Oh, firing mode GY frame all right we're gonna cut or we're just actually gonna cut the frame and paste it into storage UI for a second all right what we're going to do is we're going to make another new GUI button which will allow us to shoot lasers okay it'll be laser mode which will just be semi auto um, no matter what but we are going to make lasers that's what ray casting is for so give me just a second boom okay like that then we'll go to the script here and we'll just copy and paste the same thing um, changing the three to four boom okay so there we go now we actually cut this GUI paste it back into the light and we can get to the fun part uh, which is in local script no okay it isn't firing okay so we're gonna make another new function after of course I change the settings again so that you guys can read it um, Roblox seriously has an issue with letting you people read everything okay so function fire or er, we'll name it laser fire hum char now there's actually a bit more to it than just this um, we might feed in different variables I'll tell you guys if we will or will not in a minute alright let's go back and just make another function laser fire hum char and alright so laser okay first let's go down we're gonna make this else if mode equals equals four and else oh actually equals equals three sorry else and we need that uh, laser fire hum char boom okay right that's all we need Wait, look at what? Look at, look at, look at. Okay, we're actually gonna just do D then uh, for direction. Look at, and then our semi auto waits a half second. So we'll do the same thing. Wait a half second. Alright. Now we'll go up here. Auto fire equals false, blah, 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 blah. Okay. In laser fire, what we're going to do first today is just learn about ray casting. What is ray casting? Well, ray casting, you never see this ray. This ray, a ray in ray casting is like a beam of energy shot from one spot in a constant direction and then it feeds back everything it hit. It's kind of like a radio frequency, maybe, if you want to put it into those kinds of terms. Um, but it'll tell you what it hit first. It, you, I think it stops after it hits the first thing that you tell it not to ignore. You can feed in variables of what it should ignore as well. Um, and then it'll tell you, hey, I hit this, I, and this is where I stopped. can't think of a better way to describe this so let's just make ray equal ray dot new and let's go to the object browser just so I can really have a, a bit more of a visual as to what I'm trying to teach okay ray value no it's gotta be down here then oh come on I've got to have ray in here somewhere S I don't I don't see Ray at all. That's terrible. 
Okay. I'll just pull it up on the wiki. One sec. Okay, here we go. It gives us a bit more of an idea of what we're doing. Okay, so ray equals ray.new. You give in to the position to start out at, which we will actually need to feed into our ray cast or our laser fire function. All right, now we're just feeding in the second part, which is the direction. And then you multiply it by like 500 so that that's how that's the furthest it can go. That's the most studs it can go. Um, if it doesn't hit anything in that amount of time, it does nothing. So mouse dot hit p minus weapon dot handle c frame p. Okay, it goes that far. All right. As you can see, it does have ignore, so you can ignore entire models like that. All right. It's ignoring the character here. Right now, let's just make the ray. So actually, for laser fire, we're going to have to feed in two variables, the set or three variables. Right? No, char. Yeah, we're just gonna have to feed in char. Okay, ray dot new. Our source is going to be, and I believe we have the variable up here. Yes. Tool dot handle that position. That's going to be our source. And then D times let's just go five hundred. So it will go five hundred studs in that direction. Alright, so that's how you create a ray. You feed in where it starts, the direction, and how far it can go by multiplying your direction. Okay? Sound good? Good. Alright. Then, as we see here, it has ignore, which is the character, but we already have the character um, fed into us. So we're going to ignore them still, but we don't need to do this. And then hit position. The hit is kind of like untouched. You usually name the part that hit the other brick or something hit, right? That's what we've always done. It's kind of like typical in Roblox Lua. And for position, it's the position where it hits something. I'm not too sure we will need position. I, hmm, actually, yeah, we probably will. Um, but anyway, not today. We won't need it. Hit position. It's all we're going to need. So we'll go here. Hit position equals, and as you guys can see, it's find part on ray. So game dot workspace find part on ray. Ray. And we'll ignore the character, uh, which I. I thought we fed that in. Yeah, we did. We never, we just never got it here. Char. So we're ignoring the character, but we're fi finding parts on the ray. Correct. All right. So now all we're going to do is print. We hit. Dot dot hit dot name. Dot dot. At. Dot dot position. That's what we're going to do. We're going to print. We hit part at vector three something all right we're going to just try this now by pressing f6 all right so our players here let's press light and press laser so we're switched to number four all right let's click here oh would you look at that we actually have an error go ahead and go down to the output here players player one backpack light Firing line 47 attempt to concatenate global position a user data value Okay, so when we're trying to print I believe is when that error is coming out. Yeah Do we name it right position? Yeah, so what's the problem? We hit hit that name at position It's spelled exactly the same, right? Alright. Um, let's do this. If hit equals nil, then print uh, didn't hit anything. Return. But otherwise, we will print this. 
And we don't need an else because once we return, we're already jumping out of the function. It's not going to go any further than that return. So we don't need to put like else do this. We don't need that. All right. Just the programming tip there. Don't add in else if you don't need it. If you're going to be returning in that if thing, it's already basically assumed that you have an else. So let's do laser. Okay, so we are hitting something. Line 51, line 85. Okay. So here is some kind of problem. Let's just take out this last part and see if we can at least get hit that name marking. Um, then we'll move into the position. Find what find what the problem is there. Ladder light, laser. Okay, we hit part, we hit part. We hit base, we hit base. Let's go and uh, attack our zombie with this. I don't know, can we reach him from here? Nope, didn't hit anything. Can we reach him now? We hit base, we hit torso, we hit torso, we hit right leg, we hit base, we hit base. Hmm, it's not right. We shouldn't be hitting base. We're aiming right at the zombie's face. Hmm. We hit light. Fail. Um, hmm. We'll find out if it's actually working better later. But right now, I think it's just going or starting out too far or something. Oh well. Okay, this zombie, I forget, kill us. That's bad. Run away from the zombie! Okay. So it is working. It's just the position's kind of weird for us. Um, but we'll, we can figure that out later. All right. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.